Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to execute our Postman collection using Newman, Jenkins and Docker. So let's begin. First of all, we need to create a collection here in the Postman. For this collection, I would be using the APIs which we used in our previous session. If you don't know about those APIs, just open the browser here and go to dummy.restapiexample.com and you can pick the APIs from here. So I'm picking the first one from here, copy this one here and go back here in the postman just click a request paste here and click send so first we need to ensure that this api is working so there are so many requests being done on this request so that's why they are saying too many requests but it will eventually start working okay so i'm saving this request i am giving name it as employee list okay and i will be creating a new collection here and employee details will be the name of this collection okay and i am saving this here okay now i need another api so that i can add that api in the collection okay so go back to this browser here and copy this one okay and again come here click on new request paste it here so again you don't need to worry about this 249 because uh, we are sending uh, so many requests on this api so that's why they are sending this message here now save this request as well and employ record okay and save this to the employee details now we need to generate a public url for this collection just click on these three dots click on share collection and here click on get public link click on get public link here okay and just click update once here okay now copy this url open the notepad and save this url okay now just open the command prompt okay we need to ensure that these apis are working fine from the command line so new man run and we need to provide this link here it is start executing again don't worry about too many requests here because we are hitting this api again and again and we are practicing on this apis so that's why we are getting this one but it got executed successfully Similarly, we need to ensure that our API collection is working fine with Docker and Newman as well. So we need to use a Docker, Docker command here. And this is a Docker command. Uh, you need to provide a Docker keyword here. We are instructing our Docker to run this image container and we are providing this URL so that this Docker image can run this collection. Just press enter here. It will start executing this collection on the Docker. So it got successfully executed with the Docker as well. Now we need to use Jenkins so that we can run our collection using command line Docker and Jenkins together. Okay. For that, you need to install a Jenkins on your machine. Just open the browser, open the tab here and type download Jenkins. Okay. Go to the first URL. Okay and you need to download the stable version from here and you need to download this generic jar file just click on this one okay so it will start executing so once this file has been downloaded on your machine okay we need to execute this file i'm just cancelling this one because it has already been downloaded for me i have also configured this as well so let me show you how you can run this file just open the command prompt from here and type java dash jar and you need to provide this file name okay but you need to ensure that you should be on the correct path okay so my file is basically on my desktop okay and let me show you this file here and here you can see this we have this junkies.war on my desktop okay now we need to provide this command java dash jar space jenkins dot war file and just press enter 
Jenkins is already configured on my machine, but uh, it will start Jenkins on my local instance, okay, on my port 8080. But for you, if you are installing and configure Jenkins for the first time, it will ask for the credentials and configurations for you. These are very simple configuration, but one thing you need to ensure that here in the console, it will provide you a default uh, password for the admin account. So you need to copy that one. And once you log in again, uh, you need to change the password if you want. Okay. So here it will take some time to start the Jenkins on my local machine. So once the Jenkins is up and running, it will say Jenkins is fully up and running. Now uh, open the browser and here just go to your local host 8080. It will start the Jenkins here. Oh, sorry. Local host, not in the search actually. Here. So it's connecting to my local host here. You can see. Now this is a Jenkins interface, okay? And now we will see how we can run our APIs through this one. So first we need to create a project, okay? And create a new item here. Just click on new item here, okay? And click on a freestyle project. Uh, you just need to provide a name here. I am saying Jenkins Postman Collection. Okay, and just click on okay. It will create a Jenkins project for us. It might take some time, so you need to patience here. Okay, now your project is created here, freestyle project. Now just go to the build section here and add a Windows batch command. I'm using a Windows batch, so you, you should use the Windows batch command. In case if you are using uh, Mac, you can use the shell command, same for the Linux, okay? Just click on this one. And here, we need to provide the same, uh, you know, commands here. So first we will see how we can run with the Docker here. And I'm copying from here. And just provide this here. And that's it. Simply click on apply, save, okay? Now click on build now. It will start creating build here. Okay, just click on this one and click on console output. So here you will see the all executions here in this console output. So it's in progress right now. So it start executing. You can see here again, don't about these random characters here. The main thing is that it is executing our employee list and per record API. This is the API. Okay. And it got finished successfully. Similarly, just go back uh, to your configuration. Okay. And use a simple command. Okay. We will be changing the command here. Just click on build. And I'm just removing this part from here. Okay, because now we are not using the Docker. We are just instructing the new man to run this collection. Okay, apply and save. Okay, now again, click on the build now. It will start building here. Just click on this one and go to the console output and it will execute our collections in the Jenkins. So again, the employee list and employee record is being executed. So this is how you can run your collection using Jenkins, Docker, and Newman together. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next lecture.